Hey golfers, I'm Drew Wall with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Larry Bobka. He's a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we're going to talk about wedge grinds uh, and specifically the disadvantage of playing the wrong one. And so, uh, of course, in wedge fitting here at Second Swing, a lot of discussion will be had about sole grinds. And now that manufacturers are making so many different types of sole grinds with wedges year in and year out, uh, it's important to make sure you get the right one for your game and then realize the differences of playing the wrong one. So, Larry, let's go through kind of um, you know the importance of playing the right sole grind, and then of course the issues of playing the wrong one. Uh, why your game will suffer? Well, the advantage of playing it is solid contact leads to distance control. Mm -hmm. What do we want wedges for? We want wedges for distance control. Whether we're hitting an eighty-yard shot or an eighty-foot pitch shot, you know. We're trying to land it in a specific area, have the ball roll to the green. You know, we've hit two good shots on a par five and we're 60, 70 yards away. Right. We want to hit it close to the pin so we can try to make a birdie. So that's the that's the advantage of having the right wedge in your hand is the ability to control your distances. Mm -hmm. Okay. So which kind of leads into if I have the wrong grind, what's gonna happen? Well, Basically, the thing that's going to happen the most is the ball's going to ride up. If you could, if you could just hang on to those yep. for me, you know, you really want to make contact with your wedge around the third or fourth groove. Okay. Okay. That's where the mass of the club is. That's where it's going to be your most solid strike. Well, the problem is if I've got the wrong grind and the club digs a little bit, now the ball rolls up the face and then comes off. So it doesn't have the energy that you think you've imparted on it. It doesn't have the spin that you think you've imparted on it. So it has a tendency to come up short. Mm -hmm. Okay. Conversely, if you have too much bounce, you're going to catch it a little bit low. We've all hit those wedge yeah. shots where, you know, you're 80 yards away and you just hit this beautiful 110 yard wedge shot over the <laughs> green, you know, into a bunker or out of bounds or whatever, you know, we blade it. So that's really the advantage of having the right, the right bounce on there is you want to make sure that you're striking it right in the sweet mm -hmm. spot of the golf club for consistent distance. Right, and it's not just about the full swings that you'll hit with your wedge. It's any shot around the green and the way it's played, the right grind is going to help you find the center uh, of where that club is supposed to make contact. With well, absolutely. I mean, if we're, we're, hitting, a, we're hitting a 30, a 30 foot pitch shot, I mean, if I'm catching it too high, it's not going to get there. Yeah. Catch it too low, it's going over the green. You know, then we get in the bunker where it's even it's even more important because we're just displacing the sand. Right. You know, technically it's the only golf shot that we're supposed to hit where we really don't hit the golf ball. We just displace the sand. So if I go in a nice soft bunker with very little bounce that club's just going to slide right in. It's going to dig right through the ball sack and come out. You know, it's, it's kind of the uh, that feeling that the sand goes farther than the golf ball. Right. When the sand goes farther than the golf ball, it's not going to be a very good bunker shot. Right. Okay. So that's where it's really important because it's all about solid contact. And then, it's, then as you get around the green, it becomes more important because then you're hitting you're hitting the sweet spot, you're hitting the center of the face, and you're controlling your pitching. So, you know, when you think you're gonna hit a 30 a little 30 foot pitch on the green and it comes up 12 feet short, you know, a lot of that could be your technique, but a lot of it could be, you don't have the right wedge in your hand. Absolutely, and maybe there's golfers watching this that think, well, I'm hitting my short, my wedge game shots are not very, hitting the center of the face very often. Uh, they feel a little clicky or whatever the case may be. They think that might be their own swing. It could just be maybe you get the right sole grind in your hand and you'll find the center of the club face a lot better and have more consistent results. Well, and, and, and it's a combination of both. If your technique is good, if your technique is good and you say you're working with a pro or your technique could, but you're still not hitting good shots on the golf course, you know what? It's time to bring your wedges in, mm -hmm. trade them in in second swing, yeah. and find some wedges that are going to work for you. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it doesn't make any sense to keep trying and trying. And what you find out, I mean, I talk about putters all the time. If 
you know, it's kind of like when you don't have the right golf putter in your hand, I kind of, my analogy, it's, it's like trying to eat soup with a fork. Yeah. It doesn't work. Well, it's like trying to, it's trying to pitch the ball with the wrong club, you know, try it out. You've got to try some different, there's tons. I mean, we've got four different 58 degree wedges here in hand that all have different bounce, different soles on them. Come in, try them out, see what, see what happens. And the great advantage with us is, you know, it's our 30 day play guarantee. Exactly. Come in, get fit, try them out. Hey, if they don't work perfectly in there, then we've got at least an idea where, hey, we need to go to less bounce, we need to go to more bounce, maybe a little different grind on the sole. But then we can start the process of making your short game better. All right, well, Larry, thank you for helping us out today and giving us the lowdown on playing the right wedge grind and um, everything that comes with that as well. So I appreciate you joining us and I hope the golfers take away from that that the right wedge grind can help you out quite a bit. Totally. Glad to be here.